So we're obviously using Holly's high ram, which is a pretty familiar thing, but what's not familiar is this giant oval intake. This is a hell of a combination here. It is, yeah. This is what Holly obviously wanted to use. Um, I think this is their new oval intake manifold. Fits the Gen 2 stuff. We'll figure out, you know, what we need to do to mount that mono blade to, you know, obviously a round pipe but I believe it moves pretty good CFM and, and a lot of air through the system, so. We know the high rams a proven performer. For sure. Uh, we've got this killer tick performance intercooler sandwich in between. As you can see, it's a beast. It's awfully tall, you know. Uh, I don't know how much hood clearance we're gonna have, you know. It's a C10. It's a C10, so we'll figure that out. And the cool thing is it still uses all the same Holly O-rings as a standard, uh, standard intake, except we now have a giant chunk of, of billet aluminum sandwich between it mm -hmm. yeah correct yeah so same o-rings same f mounting fasteners and whatnot you know as far as that's concerned locations everything's blind so there's no holes on the inside to leak any air or anything like that or manifold pressure out so really it's a pretty straightforward installation so all the boosts that the manifold itself would hold it'll still hold with with the sandwiched intercooler oh we're gonna find out